A man of influence at the English court, Sir Walter Raleigh, sees hope for his suffering countrymen in these lands across the sea. Can Englishmen live in the new world? He sends explorers to North America to make detailed reports. They find that northern Indians have no precious metals. However, they raise plentiful crops around their peaceful villages. Tall, waving stalks with ears of golden grain called maize. And tobacco plants, whose broad green leaves the Indians roll and smoke for pleasure. Most plentiful, sweet, fruitful, and wholesome of all the world are the words used to describe the new land of promise. In 1607, a party of Englishmen comes to establish the first settlement. Indians approach them with suspicion, but the strangers offer tools and trinkets in exchange for fresh killed game. This simple trade is the beginning of a cautious friendship. John Smith, an English captain, takes command when men start off to hunt for gold. He sets them to building shelters and defenses. Soon the food they've brought will be exhausted. They must clear land to harvest their own crops. They must learn from their Indian friends how to raise maize and tobacco. When new settlers, both men and women, arrive to work the fields and a way is found to cure tobacco, it becomes the colony's most valuable crop for export. 